Show. And today is a Q&A Weekends episode where we answer your question right here on the show. If you have a question you want to ask us, just email us at support at businessrepublic.net. I would love to answer your question right here on Q&A Weekends. You can also tweet me on Twitter. My handle is bizrepublic, B-I-Z Republic. As always, I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. If you're interested in The $100 MBA, if you want to get into it, I recommend you check out our free course on idea validation to make sure you nail your business idea. It's completely free. It's a seven-part video course with a workbook, and it's yours for you to dive in right now. Just go to 100mba.net slash free hyphen course to sign up for free. Again, that's 100mba.net slash free hyphen course. Today's Q&A weekend's episode comes from Abraham. And the question is, I can't find a good .com for my business. Is a .co, .net, or a .biz all right? Good question, Abraham. And it's probably a problem that many new entrepreneurs and new businesses have because .coms are few and far. And if you do find it, it's quite expensive. The internet has been around for a while, so dot-coms are few and far. But the question is, should he go with a dot-co, a dot-net, or a dot-biz with a domain that he likes or matches their business? Does it make a difference? Will it hurt or hinder his uh, ranking on Google or anything like that? I give you all my suggestions and my recommendations in this situation in today's episode. So let's get down to business. Today's episode of The $100 MBA Show is sponsored by HostGator. HostGator is your all-in-one website solution. It's like having your very own tech team on call 24-7 with their live chat support, phone, and email support. They'll walk you through how to get your website up and running, and they do it without breaking the bank. For about $5 a month, you can get started with their amazing discount they're giving to listeners of The $100 MBA Show. Just go to HostGator.com slash MBA30 to save 30% and get started for as low as $5 a month. Again, that's hostgator.com slash MBA30. So Abraham can't find a good .com domain for his business. He's searching and he can't find one. It's very common. So he's looking at alternatives like .co's, .net's, and .biz's. He asks, is this all right? First of all, having a great domain name is something that we all want. Of course, we all want the .com, but if it's not available... Yes, it is all right to get a .co or a .net or a .biz even. .bizes are not that popular, but if you have a short domain and it's easy to remember and it's perfect for your brand, then these extensions are okay and let me explain why. And I'll also give you an example of our own businesses and a project that I'm working on with a buddy of mine, Jason Zook, and how we faced this exact issue and how we solved it. First of all, if you notice the $100 MBA, the website itself is a .net. 100mba.com was not available. The person was not selling it. So we got 100mba.net. Now, when it comes to search engine optimization or Google rankings or search engine rankings, it has very, very little effect if it's a .net, a .co, or a .com. I'm not gonna say it has no effect, but you really don't need to worry about it because really SEO is all about the content. It's all about how well you produce content that's relevant for the search keywords. It also depends on a, lot, a whole lot of factors, how fast your website loads, how popular your website is, the website traffic, backlinks, there's a whole bunch of other things that come into play. So it's not really about the .com. Now, another thing might be, well, what if people will remember my domain the wrong way? They'll think it's a .com when really it's a .net or a .co or something like that. Now, this is a valid concern, and I understand that, but more and more people are not entering domain names right into the browser. Think about the last time you looked up a company or looked up a product or looked up a blog post or something like that. Did you just enter right into the browser the exact address? I think when most people look up the $100 MBA, they just write the $100 MBA in Google and get us as their first ranking. This shows you that people really search on Google for websites now. And in fact, most people, when they enter uh, a search term in their browser, it automatically Googles it. So if you index number one for your business name or for what you do, that's really what's more important. And that's a long-term strategy. You gotta build your traffic, you gotta build your authority, or your blog posts, the content that it's out there. You know, the $100 MBA produces a tremendous amount of content every single day, every single month. 
You know, we have a new podcast episode that publishes every single day that gets published on our site. We have a new blog post that gets published on our site. We have courses on there. We have free courses there. We have free guides. So there's tons and tons of content to be indexed in Google to root back to us with those search terms. So you can see it has very little to do with the fact that we're a .NET or not a .NET. For example, if you Google the term MBA books, 100mba.net ranks number one for this search term because we have a two-part blog post that talks about the 40 books I love the most. I call it the must 40. And because they're business books, it's a very popular uh, blog post or set of blog posts, and it's been shared a lot. And a lot of people visit it and it's got a lot of keywords in there because I write a lot and I'm not doing this intentionally. I'm not writing keywords for the search engines. And our business is called the $100 MBA. The word MBA or the acronym MBA is in the URL. So we're ranked number one. Now, this might be a little unnerving for business schools because when people search MBA books, they find a business school alternative. But it goes to show you that the .NET or the .com or the .co has very little to do with your ranking on Google or search engines. Now, with Webinar Ninja, our software company, we started out with WebinarNinja.co. That's what was available. .com was not available. And we built our business with that. Recently, we acquired .com. It was available. We bought it from the person that owned it. So WebinarNinja.com is a URL that we have. But we've already built our business, and the website is already known as .co. People know it's WebinarNinja.co. Our users know it. The people that frequent the website know it. So for me to switch out to .com, it may cause some confusion. So instead, I just forward the .com to the .co. So I forward WebinarNinja.com to WebinarNinja.co. So if anybody actually does enter that URL by mistake or thinking it is a .com, it goes to the right website. So that's a long-term plan. That's something you can think about later on if the .com does come available. Now I mentioned that recently I went through this situation. My good buddy Jason Zook from JasonDoesStuff.com and Buy My Future and Teachery and a whole bunch of other stuff, uh, we're teaming up to do a whole new course. It's a whole new offering to our audience and it's called Easy Course. And it's a 30 day detailed plan to show you how to create a winning online course. Now we understood the concept of what we're building together, but we didn't nail the domain name yet. So we tried out a whole bunch of different names. And a great tool for finding great domain names is namemesh.com. It will give you all the different kind of combinations you can have in a domain name if you just give it some keywords. So if you're creating a business about traveling or travel hacking, but travel hacking on a budget. So you may wanna write travel, hacking, budget, and it'll give you all the different variations. Hacking, traveling, cheap, all that stuff. And it'll show you what's available in the .com, and the .net, and the .co, and the .biz, and the .whatever. And Name Mesh really helped us nail our domain name. So look out for easycourse.co coming at you really soon. Jason and I will be working on this for the next couple months and you'll be hearing about it. We're really excited about it because it's a very actionable course. It's a 30 day course on how to create a course, and which is great because at the end of the 30 days, you'll have your online course ready to go to put it out in the market. All right, enough of that. But the point here is that use these tools, namemesh.com. Don't worry if it's a .net or a .biz or a .co or even a .org but I do think you should focus on getting the keywords, the words that your business is all about into the domain name and worry about the extension later. Guys, I got more on today's topic, but before that, I gotta give love to today's sponsor, HostGator. Did you know the name of the HostGator alligator is Snappy? And that's because they eat up the competition. Seriously, guys, we've been using HostGator for years now with the $100 MBA and Webinar Ninja's websites. We love them because they scale with you. So as you build your website, and you're starting out small and your traffic is not so much. As you start building and you get more traffic and you need more needs and more space and more bandwidth, it will grow with you, they'll scale with you. And guess what? They keep it affordable along the way. In fact, you could save 30% right now on signing up for HostGator and get a complete website solution with 24 seven live support. Just go to HostGator.com slash MBA30. Again, that's HostGator.com slash MBA30. Guys, that wraps up today's Q&A weekend episode. Don't worry too much about the extension. Focus on the keywords and make sure you build your content out with great, valuable articles, videos, podcast episodes, whatever on your website to bring people into your website and increase targeted value and targeted 
traffic because you want people that are searching for words, they hit your website, and they stay there because they realize, hey, this website is exactly what I'm looking for. Thank you so much, guys, for listening to The $100 MBA Show. Just a quick shout-out to Music Wiz A, who left us an amazing review on iTunes. We are humbled by the over 600 international reviews on iTunes. Music Wiz 8 said, The $100 MBA Show rocks. The $100 MBA is great because it packs powerful insights and actionable advice into a brief format, which will even accommodate the most busy people. The $100 MBA is your place to get the insights you would have to pay $40,000 for normally. Keep rocking, guys. Thank you so much for the awesome review, Music Wiz 8. And thank you all for leaving us amazing reviews on iTunes. We would love for you to give us a review if you haven't yet. Remember, everybody who leaves us an iTunes rating and review enters our weekly random draw, our free ride Friday draw, where we give away a free lifetime membership to the $100 MBA training and community. Our way to say thank you for your support. All right, guys, that wraps up today's lesson. But I want to leave you with this. Sometimes we get caught up in the details of things like registering a domain name. I don't want you to spend too much time on that. Spend an hour. Use namemesh.com. Get your keywords down and just go with the extension that's available. You could always change it later and do a forward like we did with Webinar Ninja. It's the business itself that really is going to matter. It's the value you provide to the customers when they hit that website. Remember that. And remember, 15 years ago, no one ever heard of a Google. Focus on your content. Focus on your value. And you can't go wrong. All right, guys, I'll check you in tomorrow's episode, a very special guest teacher episode with my main man, Tim Page, the conversion expert over at Lead Pages. Can't wait to share that episode with you tomorrow. I'll see you then. Take care.